All right, here's the deal. I really like making free presets for you. I've made a few of them, they do some pretty cool stuff, and I have another one for you today. However, videos that just show off a preset and then give it away for free um, aren't that long, which is great for you, but I'm trying to grind out some watch time. So I'll trade you. You get a, a nice and short video and a free preset to help you promote all of your social media profiles. More on that soon. And you watch this video all the way through. Drop a like, maybe a comment. And if you haven't yet, consider subscribing. I will gladly trade watch time for viewer retention and engagement. Good? Good. Let me show you what I've got for you. In the description will be a download link for this dot setting file. This is a title preset and to install it, you'll have to drag it to a very specific place in your folder structure for Resolve. And that specific file path will be both in the description for this video and in the readme that comes with the download. But once you have that file in the correct folder, all you have to do is launch or restart Resolve and right on the edit page, Inside your effects library in titles, if you scroll down, you will see SSC master socials. And you can drag this right onto your timeline. And you'll see that by default, it is this Twitter social bug that pops up, sits for a while, and then retracts and falls back down off screen. But there is a lot packed into this one preset. If you have your inspector open with the preset selected, you'll instantly see all these custom controls. And you'll see that right now, Twitter is selected. But if I uncheck that and click Instagram, you'll see that the entire alert changes to a promo for your Instagram. And we have that for Facebook, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, and TikTok, all in one preset. And underneath those main controls for selecting which social media you wanna promote, you have two different sections of text controls, and that will control the text in the preset. So if I change this back and I wanna promote my Twitter, I can change this to follow me on Twitter and under this at name, we can just do something like my name. And now if we just preview this real quick, it'll pop up, scroll out, you'll see your social media or in this case, my Twitter, check me out on Twitter and then it'll disappear. And you have full controls over the font and color, individual size, and things like tracking and the anchor point, which will move that text up or down just a hair to help you format it exactly however you want to. And by default, any of these titles you drag on your timeline will be five seconds. But if you want it to be longer, you just move your mouse over to the end and you can stretch that out. And this preset will automatically stretch for that length. It'll still come in at the same speed, but then it will hold until you get to the end of the clip when it will transition out correctly. So you can extend these presets to any length you want and it will automatically extend and then transition off right at the end. And it's as easy as just grabbing this edge and extending it or pulling it back. And these presets will work on any timeline that is in a standard 16 by nine aspect ratio. So here I have a 24 frames per second timeline that transitions on and off. And you have a 30 frames per second timeline that has two different examples, both of them transition on and off and they are different length, they advertise completely different social media, and they work pretty perfectly. There's only one other small quirk you might need to be aware of. In the inspector for these controls, it's a best practice to only select the box for the social media you wanna use in that instance. If you select multiple of these boxes, it'll only ever show you which one is on the most bottom, in this case, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, even though all of them are selected. And if we toggle on something like Instagram, you won't see it. I designed these to be as easy to use as possible. So if you run into any issues, let me know in the comments or find me over on my Twitter. And just like with some of my other presets, if you right click on these and go to open in the Fusion page, you'll see that preset, that macro represented by this group node. And you can double click this and see how I made this preset. This will definitely be intimidating for a lot of people, but if you've been diving into the Fusion page, you can open this right up, tear it apart, see exactly how I made this preset and make something exactly like this or even cooler. This also gives you full control over changing any of these options. If you want more text controls, you can open up these text nodes and have the full suite of controls that come with this text plus node in Fusion. Or you can select this transform node open it up and apply motion blur. Motion blur always looks great. I kept it off by default, but if you want to toggle it on, here's where you'll do it. And there is my free social media promo preset. One preset to promote Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and TikTok. And inside the Fusion page is where you also have a little bit more functionality in saving some of these controls. If you click on this entire group and right click on the title, go to settings, save as, and you can save this as your social Twitter, and then anytime you add that effect back onto a timeline, 
If you open the Fusion page, select that group, right click, go to settings and load, you can select social Twitter, open that up, and it will change those settings to exactly what that was. And you can do that for all of these different social media profiles. As always, thank you so much for watching. I think this preset can be pretty useful. It was very fun putting together and troubleshooting a lot of things on the way. I learned a lot as always, and I'm very excited to get it into your hands to see it in some of your work. If you do end up using this in any of your YouTube videos, drop a link to your channel or specific videos in the comments below. I would love to check them out. Thanks, I'll see you next time.